Hey guys, welcome back to Revit exercise 13-3. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to generate a room finish schedule. Much like how we did a door schedule, we're going to be looking at similar steps that we're going to take to create a room schedule. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go under the view tab, under the create panel, you're going to select schedules. Schedules by quantity and select rooms. Now for this particular room schedule, I'm going to double click to move in the specific category which are going to be used for the schedule fields. Once you have these selected, you're going to go ahead and select sorting and group and you're going to sort by number. Again, you can reorganize it based on then by and all of the various different fields and these are if then questions so you're going to always have number ascending and then you're going to go all the way down to where you can actually create multiple criteria by which it's going to be organized so in this case we're just going to organize it by numbers you're going to go ahead and press ok so once you have this number um, this room schedule created based on room number notice how we have specific room that are not placed we have just one for them we can simply select the rooms that we do not want and delete their row by right clicking and select delete row. It's going to ask you that it's going to remove the room tag altogether. You're going to press OK. And then for the 001, we're going to go ahead and call that hallway. Notice how the rooms coordinate back and forth with each other. If I go back to the basement floor plan, you're able to see the word hallway appear when I change the room name. Now, so for example, if I was to put in a finish for bedroom one, which is located on the second floor plan, I'm simply going to go under the second floor plan, have that room selected, and I can come in here and actually put in the base finish as wood, ceiling finish as GB, setting for gypsum board, wall finish as paint one and I can have floor finish as carpet one and I can apply these and notice what happens into my room schedule my room schedule automatically fills those categories again I can select down here and once I have that specific category selected for one bedroom I can select the same categories for the other bedrooms. I can do that for the primary bedroom as well by simply selecting them. And again, when we come to when it comes to us establishing what paint one means, it could be a white paint, it could be a different specified paint, carpet and wood, but we're technically are able to generate a room schedule that is communicating with the floor plans beyond. We're also able to calculate areas right through here. And depending on what room tags you have selected, you can even go back and actually select room tags that have volumes. With that said, that's a brief overview of how to set up a room schedule. And that concludes exercise 13-3. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow for more content.